Hello Felicibus Felix here and welcome to the last draft projections. This time we're doing the overall draft, so we'll say which 10 guys we think will be drafted overall. And with me today I've got Hans Paul, I've got Fayaskachi, and I've got the SMC 250. Hey. Hello. Meow. And since this is the final one we're gonna be doing, I invited them all into this one. So please go check out their channels afterwards, because they've been helping me with this and they need some love from you guys as well. Why don't we just get going? In 10th place, we think the guy gonna get drafted 10th for a role is gonna be Jürgen van den Broek. It's uh, certainly, I, well, I think that it's certainly because um, the fact that you can link him up really easily and actually the overall stats of him um, that are really gonna help him. Is um th that's what I why I think that he's gonna be picked like one of the f first ten. Well, the Belgian fans are a big fan of Jurgen van der Broek, so I think the Belgian fans um are gonna pick him very fast for the, their Belgium team, and of course he's a st strong climber, so yeah, I think um he's gonna get picked also in tenth. That's a good choice. He has one of the best recovery stats in the race, and if paired up, that becomes eighty. And you could see him, if his fighter stat decides to act out, you could see him up in maybe uh, an early risk-taking breakaway to try and gain some time. See, that would be intense. We were debating to put Michel Scaponi here or Jürgen van der Broek, but we went with van der Broek since he's a big, bigger name. Next off, we've got a guy that Flask could chill us. We've been speaking about him a lot so far in these draft projections, and we can't go without putting him in top 10. Yes, it's Barker Malma. Well... It's kind of like uh, Vandenbroek, but only a little bit better. So that's basically why why uh, we put him higher. There are a lot of fans of uh, the Netherlands, for example, just as uh, Belgian fans are going for Vandenbroek. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that's why we put him on the ninth place. Well, Balkmal has 79 mountain, and if you even link him up with another be uh, um, Netherlands Belgian guy, you get plus two, so he's going to be 81 mountain. And of course, then you're having a great climber. And, uh, he yeah. he yeah. has better sprinting stats than Vandenbroek, as subtle as they might be. But I think we um, my 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 uh, argument was we put him higher on the list because he just has so many guys that are actually better in the mountains, but not a first round pick in the mountains, like a guy like Lawrence Tendam, or possibly. Um, Possibly Kreuzwick or Kelderman. Those guys could really help him out in the mountains. And Robert Gissing, that's for sure. So, we saw the bug in Malama. He had a strong Twitter front. He won the second stage, and I believe he got really high placements in some of the uh, later stages. So, he's already proven that picking him is not a bad choice. Next up, we have the only sprinter on this list. And yes, you'll probably guess that it's John Dingle Cobb. Yeah, just the fact that um, it's such a mountainy terrain, this tour. Um, just completely destroys the fact like uh, the um, thought of adding sprinters to this but Dinkov is one of the only ones that can actually survive these good maybe also Sagan but he's just better in sprinting than Sagan at some point and easier to match up with other guys yeah Dekanov is um, 71 hill so and most likely in the world the last few kilometers are still like a funny hill where you need to go over for a sprint and if he gets they can help um, linked up with some other um, guy. You, you get 82 on him, and that needs to be, of course, um, a um, Dutch guy. Uh, uh, German, yeah. German. Our but <laughs> his okay, his stamina, <laughs> his stamina, if given plus two, is the best of any sprinter. So it looks, it looks to be with his good mountain and hilling stats, he could survive um, the Vuelta. 20 stages to make it to the final stage and go for glory. Definitely. So, John Dingle Cup, we hope you guys are going to take this advice to to ear, at least listen to it, because I know you guys are going to pick Peter Sagan, but just bear in mind, he's only got one link up, while John Dingle Cup has got like five, and they're all better than Jorak Sagan. So keep that in mind. You don't have to do these things. You don't have to specifically, oh, I'm going to pick John Dingle Cup because failure and fires and all those guys say. No, but we just advise you to. Next on the list, we've got a guy who could have been placed higher, but because of his recent showings, he's only 7th. Yes, it's Alberto Contador. Uh, for the last couple of um, stages of the tour, he was fading out so quickly um, that it was almost impossible to think about it. 
Um, but still, he's a really good contender for the GC, and linking him up... Well, that's also pretty difficult, actually, um, so that's why he's so high on the, on the list. Yeah, Alberto Contador has a big name, and even if he's linked up, he's getting around like 83 mountain? Let me 82. See. Yeah, 82 mountain, that's insane for the Vuelta. He can win stages, he can win the GC, I think, so that's why he is 7 for me. Uh, he's a very good rider, decent acceleration, also a decent downhill. But he's one of those guys who, because of his name and that he's relatively, relatively easy to link up, he could be banned. Watch out for Contador. I, I said I've been saying, the big name is definitely going to pay some sort of role. Like, you always want to say, oh, I've got Contador on my team, watch out. It doesn't have the same influence, like, same fa factor, which you say, oh, watch out, i got TJ Fan shit on my team. Like, it, it's not hey, the hey, same. Hey, it's not, hey, dude, dude, it's, that's how hey, people are going to see that. Hey, you can't... Hey, okay. Hey. Next Hello. time, next time, <laughs> we have Nara Quintana. Yeah, really good mountain guy, um, but... His time trial is coming a little bit short, and he didn't show himself a lot in the tour. Also, really difficult uh, to match him up because the only guy of his team, which is from the same nation, is uh, Alspina with nothing above 70. So, yeah, he can easily get a white jersey and a red jersey. So that's go are gonna be a little points for you. <laughs> he is a mountain. Goat. He is one of the better sprinters that I have seen up a mountain. Someone like Perito Rodriguez. In a year, maybe two, uh, Nero Quintana will dwarf him. Maybe if they bring in some other Colombian guys, maybe add a Puma to Movistar, or maybe Quintana wants some moves, he'll be very useful. But now, even though he's so good, his link up is kind of bad. You, you can also get Duque, and maybe that, that's going to be a really good link up. Then. Oh, no, wait. But well, I'd like, say Quintana is worth counter picking. So if you see someone picks Quintana pretty high, I would definitely just pick Ospina just for the fact of making Quintana weaker. It's worth it. I mean, it's only one out of your nine guys that you're giving up to make that guy worse. You gotta be you gotta think this strategically when you're doing this. By the way, I'm by the way, I'm into Warte, not to care. Oh, well that's <laughs> nice. Next on the list, guys, we've got another movie star writer. Yes, it's at Honda Valverde. Again, a really big uh, GC contender is a really good all-arounder, but I don't know. Uh, did we see him a lot in the uh, tour? Yeah, sometimes. Fourth. Yeah, he got fourth with GC and uh, got got some nice podium places. Um, so he's definitely um, a good a good um, contender, and he's really consistent. So that's really important. Yeah, he's pretty easy to link up. You can get him to eighty-three mountain, and that's uh, eighty-one. Just 81 mountain, and he's a great healer, so he can win some stages, and he can be in the top 10 of the GC. He is a guy who will definitely come to the forefront if he, if the guys that I predict will get banned, like Froome and maybe Rodriguez, maybe Nibali, if those guys get banned, I'm looking at him and Contador to come out and be a GC contenders, majorly. Definitely. Yeah. And yeah. Valverde is showing that he's really strong in the Tour de France. I believe he's going to be picked up real fast. But there are some guys who've been doing better than him. One guy hasn't, though. But we believe in him. It's Sir Bradley Wiggins. Certainly, uh, the time trial is may, may, like, making a very high roll here. Um, you can upgrade him to 80, mountain, uh, 80 time trial and 81 mountain. Yeah. Sorry. Um, and... Well, the linking up isn't that difficult. You have some really good time trials that you can link up with Wiggins, which will make your team really good in time trials. So, really uh, a guy to watch out for. Yeah, Wiggins um, is a chance of him getting banned because he's so good in everything. He's like a version, version 2 of Chris Froome. And he has these experience, man. He has experience. He is driving a lot of Grand Tours. So, yeah... Fias, I just want to correct you really quick. He is correct the me. version, the version one of Chris Froome. There would be no Chris Froome if there was no Sir Bradley Wiggins. Um, a risk to run though. If you get maybe a Durant Thomas and Bradley Wiggins pairing, and if you get the yellow jersey right off the bat, how are you going to keep it for twenty stages? 
will. Who knows? Only the future can tell, but you gotta take risks to get victories. Next on the list is Joaquim Rodriguez. Certainly a big contender. The Vuelta is his favorite race, for example, and the fact that there aren't too many uh, time trials can really help him to get a good placing. Also because he gets 83 mountain if you uh, link him up in a good way. And the fact that you can link him up with a really good helper like Daniel Moreno is really important. Yeah, he wants to win the Vuelta. It's his homeland. And yeah, that's probably why he is the third guy in this list. As we uh, see. His third column of stats is amongst the best for the GC riders. And a plus two would only make those better. And... Even though he's on the Russian Katusha team, there are plenty of Spaniards for him to link up with. Plus, he has never won a Grand Tour yet, so that will be very good motivation. His 81 fighter, like he can get 81 fighter. So as SMC has mentioned before, they might go in an early breakaway and Joaquim Rodriguez is an early attack. You should watch out because this guy is a machine. Next on the list is a guy who's been doing real good lately in the time trials. It's a guy you wouldn't expect to win time trials, but apparently he's going to do so. And he may do a dribble by winning the Welter Spaniard time trial as well. Yes, it's Vincenzo Nibali. Well, one of my favorites. I think it's, this is actually my favorite um, is, uh, instead of our number one. But still, that's my opinion. Just because his downhill is so good. Uh, is that, that's already a real big factor, and the fact that you can link him up easily. You have enough choice right there. Uh, if if people try to um, set you up so you don't get any links, it's going to be really difficult. Almost everyone has to take someone then. Yeah, I think that Nimali could get banned. He's a great downhill. He can get 85 um, hit downhill if he's getting linked up. So. He will be so great in the downhills and of course in the mountains, 83 and great overall. And of course he won the Giro and it's great in the Tour de France. Yeah, the, the Italian climber out of Sicily, um, in the real life Vuelta, let's segue to that. He's been showing great, Horner's been better though, USA pride. Um, but this man, <laughs> this man in, in the Vuelta a España MLC. If he doesn't get banned, this guy is a Giro. No, not Giro. He is a contender for the top spot. Definitely. I'd watch out for Vincenzo Nibali. But there's one guy you just can't... This name you can't stop mentioning. As far as we say, he is the Wiggins. He is Wiggins 1.0, which is not really right. But, yeah, I'm just going to quote Fias because he is funny to quote. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot go without a Grand Tour and say... Don't, uh, don't say... And do not say Christopher Froome. The fact that he just gets 84 mountain and 81 hill if you link him up correctly, which is going to be pretty difficult if you look at it, um, but enough chances. Um, but he's also like one of the guys that everyone will think to ban first, so, well, if, you, if it doesn't get banned, then we're all fucked. Yeah, <laughs> well, he's a, a great big name. He won the MLC Giro. And second in MLC Tour, the France. So, if he's not getting banned, there will be a big chance of him winning the Vuelta too. Uh, if he doesn't get banned, he will win, period, end of story. Just imagine Froome in the red jersey, the green jersey, the pocket jersey. And oh if, if his team is on, let's say he's on Team Sky, wins the team classification, he's going to win by a good thousand points, which no one wants to see. So, guys, that has been our draft projections. And it's been a joy to make these. You don't have to follow these, but these, these draft projections are for the guys who don't know what to draft and when to draft them. So I hope you're going to take these to mind when you draft and don't just draft the jump head on your arm. But if you guys have anything you want to say before we leave, go ahead. Don't do like me and pick Ruland in first round. Um, cats, cats. Did you know that Chris Froome? Cats, Fro cats, if cats, Chris Fro cats. <laughs> God damn it, you. Shut up, let's see. What are you trying to say, Faz? If um, Chris Froome is going to win the Vuelta, and like if he won all the Giro and the Tour de France, he will be the first guy to win the three Grand Tours in one season. That'd be insane. But guys, thank you guys for watching. Please take these to mind when you're going to draft. Have a good MLC. I hope you enjoyed this week. Please leave a like. Watch out for next week, because next week we're going to see some simulations. It's not just going to be stats. It's going to be actual facts. Thank you guys for watching. Please go watch all these guys' channels. They're amazing. They do a lot of stuff for me. I do a lot of stuff for them. It's one big community.